In this video, we're going to discuss one-hot encodings and how we can make use of these encodings in machine learning. In a previous video, we talked about how labels for images in Keras were actually one-hot encoded vectors. Now we'll discuss exactly what that means. So we know that when we're training a neural network via supervised learning, we pass labeled input to our model, and the model gives us a predicted output. If our model is an image classifier, for example, then we may be passing it labeled images of animals as input. When we do this, the model is usually not interpreting these labels as words like dog or cat. Additionally, the output that our model gives us in regards to its predictions aren't typically words like dog or cat either. Instead, most of the time, our labels become encoded so that they can take on the form of an integer or of a vector of integers. One type of encoding that's widely used for classifying categorical data is called one-hot encoding. One-hot encoding transforms our categorical labels into vectors of zeros and ones. The length of these vectors is equal to the number of classes or categories that our model is expected to classify. So if we were classifying whether images were either of a cat or of a dog, then our one-hot encoded vectors that correspond to these classes would each be of length 2, since there are two categories total. If we added another category, like lizard, so that we could then classify whether images were of cats, dogs, or lizards, then our corresponding one-hot encoded vectors would each be of length 3, since we now have three categories. All right, so for one-hot encoding, we know the labels are transformed or encoded into vectors. We know that each of these vectors has a length that is equal to the number of output categories. And we briefly mentioned that the vectors contain zeros and ones. So let's go into further detail on this last piece. Let's stick with the example of classifying images as being either of a cat, dog, or lizard. With each of the corresponding vectors of these categories being of length three, we can think of each index or of each element within the vector corresponding to one of the three categories. So let's say for this example that the cat label corresponds to the first element, the dog label corresponds to the second element, and the lizard label corresponds to the third element. With each of these categories having their own place in the corresponding vectors, we can now discuss the intuition behind the name one-hot. With each one-hot encoded vector, Every element will be a zero, except for the element that corresponds to the actual category of the given input. This element will be a one. So sticking with our same example, recall we said that a cat corresponds to the first element, dog to the second, and lizard to the third. For cat, we see that the first element is a one, and the next two elements are zeros. This is because each element within the vector is a zero, except for the element that corresponds to the actual category. And we said that the cat category corresponded to the first element. So that's the reason for the one here. Similarly, for dog, we see that the second element is a one, while the first and third elements are zeros. And lastly, for lizard, the third element is a one, while the first and second elements are zeros. So now we can see that each time the model receives input that's a cat, it's not interpreting the label as the word cat, but instead is interpreting the label as this vector 100. For images labeled as dog, the model is interpreting the dog label as the vector 010. And for images labeled as lizard, the model is interpreting the label as the vector 001. Now just for clarity purposes, say we add another category, llama, to the mix. So now we have four categories total, and so this will cause each one-hot encoded vector corresponding to each of these categories to be of length four now. And the vectors will look like this. So we can see that for each of our pre-existing categories of cat, dog, and lizard, we still have the corresponding one for each of these vectors in the same place it was in before. The one is the first element for cat, second element for dog, and third element for lizard. The new fourth element for each of our existing categories is just a zero, since this fourth element corresponds to the llama category. And finally, the new one-hot encoded vector for the llama category is all zeros except for the fourth element, which is a one, again, since the fourth element corresponds to the llama category. Now, we just arbitrarily said that the cat corresponded to the first element, dog to the second, lizard to the third, and llama to the fourth but this could very well be in a different order. 
For example, we could instead have dog corresponding to the first element, lizard to the second, llama to the third, and cat to the fourth. This just depends on how the underlying code or library is doing the one-hot encoding. If you're interested in understanding how to view the mapping between which element or index corresponds to which label in Keras for image data, check out my previous video showing how that can be accessed. So I hope now you understand what one-hot encoding is and how labels are transformed into one-hot encoded vectors for classification purposes when working with artificial neural networks. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. And thanks for watching.